Hey guys, uh, welcome to the video on Linux performance monitoring. This is a basic level introductory class for beginners in Linux and Unix like operating systems. In this video, I will cover the basic monitoring commands and also discuss a few um, well known tools for monitoring and system analysis. So, right now, what you see in front of the screen. Um, is uh, the CentOS version 7 which is one of the Linux distributions that we have in the marketplace and right now what we are accessing is the graphical user interface and moreover in the production environments you might not get access to the graphical user interfaces you might directly SSH into the Linux server so mostly you need to be very familiar with the commands that you need to work on uh, for monitoring the Linux servers the processes the CPU and the disk IOs and all these things so the first thing uh, on the graphical user interface what I want to show you is go to the applications and system tools where you have two tools that you can use one is the system monitor system monitor is nothing but like the task manager that we have in uh, Windows operating systems where we can see the CPU history the memory and the swap history the network history uh, how much bandwidth is coming and uh, all these connection details and everything and if you go to the processes you can see the process name the user that uh, is using the process the amount of uh, CPU that is uh, the process is consuming the PSID or the PID is the process ID which is a unique uh, identification that is provided by the hex algorithm on the CPU uh, to this particular process to run with this allocated memory and the priority of the process that is running so basically what you can do is you can right click on it and go for the kill operation as well as end the operation and you can also generate a memory map where you can um, actually see at what times uh, the memory has been consuming at what rate and all these other things so if you go to the properties you can get some information on uh, exactly what is happening you can actually see this process is actually sleeping so it's not an active process but it's still uh, it has a memory allocation of 4.9 uh, megabytes so you can get all those information here from the properties and file system is a disk layout uh, if you have any mounted uh, drives uh, you can see them here um, you have 5.3 uh, space of this particular device here and uh, an SDA boot device which is uh, uh, 310 uh, 520 MB so this is the basic overview of uh, having the tools that uh, from the graphical user interface you can also use system log uh, the particular machine that I'm accessing is a virtual machine on Skytap like it's a cloud platform where I build my virtual machines uh, virtual servers and all these things so I will not have uh, much uh, user interface uh, thing to this particular template for CentOS I have uh, very limited administration access I don't have the root access to this particular virtual machine uh, template so that's it uh, for uh, coming to the part of uh, the graphical user interface um, now let me take it to the uh, terminal and explain you the commands from there so the first command I want to show you is uh, top T O P. this is a Linux process monitoring command let me press enter so what this exactly does is it refreshes every five seconds and this displays all the running and active processes uh, in ordered list and updates it regularly that uh, every five seconds it displays uh, you can see the CPU uh, utilization the CPU usage on the, on the system the memory usage the, the swap memory and the cache size the buffer size the process IDs you can see the process IDs here and other users which are logged in you can see the root uh, is using some privileges and the skytap account is using some privileges here uh, some processes here so we can see the total number of processes that are uh, sleeping or they're active is uh, 163 processes that are total in this installed in this server in which two are running and 161 are sleeping and zero are stopped and zero are zombies so this is the basic uh, information that we get it from the top command we need to be very sure on what processes is running um, 
lot of uh, CPU utilization and memory consumption here. So according to that, you can troubleshoot, you can kill the process or you can troubleshoot why the process is stuck. Uh, if there is any background cron job that is running and all these things, you can verify all those things and you can take necessary action on that. So this is the most important command when it comes to process monitoring. So once you cancel the screen, it's control C. You can put a command called clear, which will clear the screen. And the second command I want to show you is the virtual memory statistics or what we call it as VM stat. Actually this command displays the statistics for virtual memory, the kernel threads, uh, the disks and also some system processes, IO blocks and CPU activity and also I think interrupts also will be shown. So let's enter and we can see the details here the processes are shown here the memory the swap the disk IO the system details and the CPU statistics so this is uh, something which is very important um, by the way this command VM stack command uh, may not be available in other Linux distributions uh, some in some distributions it might be called as sysstat system statistics and in some distributions it's called as VM stat virtual machine statistics so the third command I want to show you is uh, first let me give you a scenario you might be backing up the Linux file system or any application that is installed on the Linux uh, file system and you might see uh, in the backup job that there are a number of open files and the backup is running very slow in this scenario we use a command called LSOF that is list open files this command actually displays all the open files and the processes including uh, the data files uh, the disk files uh, network sockets pipes devices and processes one of the main reason for using this command is when the disk cannot be mounted or unmounted and displays an error that files are being used or opened or when in the backup scenario when you say the backup is running very slow because of the open files you can use this command in order to get the list of open files on the system and you can take necessary actions to close them and you can rerun the backups or you can do the an unmounting or a mounting of the disk so let us open that lsof list of uh, list open files and you can see all the files that have been opened and their user directory here the directory at which the file is currently running so this is uh, the third uh, thing I want to show you as we completed this uh, command I want to show you one more command called netstat which is for network statistics this is basic the command which we use it for monitoring incoming and outgoing uh, network traffic uh, the packets which we call um, as well as the interface statistics so let us start with the command net stat this is basically I'm giving a pipe for more information so you can see the network statistics here um, the TCP and the UDP protocols that have been used and all the other details whether it's listening or it's established or listening it will show and you can see the file is uh, with full details we pulled out the file so we can go till the end so one more important command I want to show you uh, similar to um, top which is iotop Anyway, this command might not be used in all the uh, distributions that we have, uh, but it's a similar command to top, but in accounting function to monitor and display real-time disk I.O. and the processes. So this uh, command is useful for finding the exact processes and high used disk reads and writes for the process. So it's very important for that uh, functionality. It's mainly for monitoring the disk I.O. 
let me see if I can uh, give iostat. All right, iostat is basically a simple command, uh, or we can call it as a tool because it's installed. Uh, it's not in, in some distributions it comes as pre-installed and some you have to install it by yourself it's a simple tool or it's a simple command that will collect uh, and show the system input and output storage device statistics whatever the storage devices that you have and the input uh, how many reads how many writes and how many is read and how many is written will be shown in this uh, such as NFS uh, for the local disks as well as remote disks such as uh, NFS There are many other tools uh, which I want to discuss. Uh, before that, let me see if I can access HTOP. Okay, HTOP is also not allowed here, but this is a graphical. I think we need to install this HTOP, which is an advanced interactive and uh, uh, a real time Linux processing monitoring tool. Um, it's similar to the uh, top command, but uh, it gives you a very user-friendly interface to manage process shortcut keys, the vertical and horizontal view of the processes and all the other things. So I want to discuss a few tools uh, for Linux monitoring. Uh, this is basically, that's it uh, for this uh, commands, coming to this commands. Most of the commands um, are uh, you can also use another command called tcp dump it's more uh, you know widely used uh, command and you can give the network interface all right anyway i don't have the permission to capture on that device anyway that's okay so tcp dump is one of the most widely used command line network packet analyzer or packet sniffer program uh, that is used to filter uh, basically the TCP IP uh, packets that are received and transferred uh, from a specific uh, uh, interface over the network. It actually also provides you option to save the ca captured packages as a file for later analysis. And TCP IP is almost available in all the major uh, distributions, but we don't have access to uh, see it, uh, but it will have access to most of the distributions. So that's it on the commands. Uh, let me come to uh, the different tools that are used for uh, monitoring uh, the performance of Linux servers. We have something called Monitrox. Monitorox. Uh, it's a free, uh, lightweight utility that is designed to run and monitor uh, system and network resources as many as possible in Linux and Unix servers. Uh, it's built on HTTP web server that regulate, uh, regularly collects uh, uh, system and network information and displays them in graphics. And it monitors system load uh, average and um, collection time, driver health and uh, system services, uh, network ports, uh, mail statistics like send mail, uh, post fix, uh, do caught, etc and MySQL statistics are also displayed here. And the second tool I want to discuss is Nagios, which is a very leading open source uh, powerful monitoring system that enables um, network and system administrators to identify and resolve server related uh, problems before they affect the major business processes. With uh, Nagios, uh, administrators can able to monitor the remote uh, Linux, uh, uh, not only Linux, but also Windows, uh, different switches, routers, uh, print, printers, uh, NAS servers, uh, all these things you can monitor it from a single window. It shows all the critical warnings and uh, uh, indicates if something went go wrong or something you can with the network or with the server which directly you can uh, begin investigation and uh, provide the redetermination to process before they occur. So that's a wonderful tool uh, Nagios. You can uh, have a look at the tool it's an open source tool you can download and many companies in the production environments use Nagios and there, there are many other like Zabbix, um, uh, Kasaya, there are so many other monitoring tools which can be used for uh, maintaining a distributed uh, environment with Windows as well as with uh, Linux. So I hope this uh, lesson is informative uh, to the beginners 
and this is definitely not for the advanced people uh, this is uh, for the beginners who want to learn uh, monitoring on Linux systems I hope this is informative and thank you very much for watching and have a nice day bye